humans create 5 billion tons of garbage every year. Dumping it all into landfills is terrible for our environment. What's a better way to deal with our trash? Reduce, reuse, and recycle. You probably already help by recycling at home and at school. In fact, 70% of our trash can be recycled. But what happens to all those materials that go in the bins after they get picked up? I'm here at E.J. Harrison & Sons Gold Coast Recycling in Ventura, California. It's at places like these that your recyclables, like glass, plastic, paper, and metal, are sent every day. Let's take a look at the life cycle of your reusable trash. Let it go, Mario! Tons of garbage each day goes up these conveyor belts where man and machine work together to separate everything into their appropriate categories. First to be separated is cardboard, a material that's easy to reuse again once it's cleaned up. Next comes paper, newspaper, printer paper, and junk mail, which gets compiled here. Plastics of all kinds get separated for later recycling, and glass is moved in this direction. This is my favorite part. You know how two magnets that are similarly polarized will push away from each other, right? Well, this machine uses that same principle. Any metal that comes down the line, like an aluminum can, will be literally propelled into its own chute when it passes through the magnets. Watch. <laughs> cool, huh? Thousands of pounds of cardboard are now in these cubes, all neatly separated and stacked, and ready for the next step. Here at the new Indy Paper Mill in Ontario, California, 1,200 tons of used cardboard gets turned into brand new paper. It starts when the bales are dumped into giant pulpers, vats of hot water that mash everything up into a thick stew. It's here that any non-paper is removed, such as wrapping wire and plastics. Filters remove finer pieces of debris, including the printed inks, leaving as the end result pure liquid paper soup. Gigantic pressers then begin the process of squishing together the pulp, which not only starts to form the new sheets, but also squeezes out much of the water, until finally the sheets go through 55 dryers, heated to 280 degrees, and it takes only a few seconds to remove the last remaining bits of moisture from the newly formed paper, which is then rolled into giant spools. Those rolls then get cut into the size of paper New Indies customers have asked for. The cut rolls are taped and banded closed, stored on top of each other, and the process is finally complete. And what about all that plastic that makes up so much of our waste? Well, most of it is not wasted at all. Companies like Talco Plastics in Long Beach, California, separate the bales of plastic on these conveyor belts. An electric eye looks for the exact kind of plastic being recycled today and blows what it needs up these tubes faster than any human could. Next comes the grinder, which chunks everything into tiny parts. Those fragments still have some paper labels on them, so this louvered machine and its blowers automatically strip it all away, leaving just the plastic that gets washed and rinsed in these vats of hot water. Look at the difference between the clean and dirty plastic. Notice that the plastic is still all the colors of the rainbow? At the next stage, it all gets superheated and melted together. 
Just like when you mix all your markers or crayon colors, you get gray. The same thing happens here. The now gray plastic gets formed into pellets which are boxed up and sent on their way to be formed into some newly made plastic object. The whole process took only an hour but saved so much of our planet's precious resources. Just like the video said, reduce, reuse, recycle. It's a process that we are all responsible for. So today, you are gonna reuse and recycle. You're gonna use trash and recycling to make something really cool. Here are your instructions. For the reuse recycle challenge, you are to design and create something new. The materials you will use are clean items out of your trash can or trash bag or your recycling bin. Anything ready to be thrown away. You can also use tape, scissors, and whatever you can find. You can see some examples of pretty cool things that people have made out of recycled items. Water bottle fish, soda bottle flowers, a milk jug bird feeder, toilet paper roll binoculars, cardboard robots, and a cardboard guitar. So here are the materials that I am using today. I have a plastic bag, and then I have regular tape, glitter tape, and scissors. So Henry and Finley, my two boys, have been really into taking thread and making friendship bracelets with it. So I thought I would take this plastic bag and make a bracelet with it. So I need my scissors to cut off the front part of the bag. And I need to cut off that handle part too. And then I need three strips of plastic. So I'm gonna cut one strip, two strips, All right, I have three pieces of plastic. Now let me show you what's next. I'm gonna take the top of those three pieces, clump them together, and tape them to something. So for right now, I'm just taping them to the chair out here. And then I'm gonna take those three pieces, put them apart, and I'm gonna braid them. If you've never braided them, this is what happens. You take the outside piece and you move it to the middle. And then you take this outside piece, move it to the middle. You know what happens next? Outside piece, move it to the middle. And then you keep going until the end. I'm gonna speed it up a little. All right, now I'm at my end and I need to knot those pieces, tie them together. So I'm gonna tie these two. And I'm gonna tie these two. And then I don't need those little extra little pieces hanging out, so I'm gonna grab my scissors and cut off those extra little pieces, remembering to pick them up when I'm done. Then I need to take this part and I'm gonna tie those pieces together. Now my bracelet's done and I'll show you how I'm going to attach it. All right, so I have the plastic bag that I braided into a bracelet and a piece of that cool glittery tape. I'm gonna take that glittery tape and put it at the end of my bracelet, and then I'm gonna fit it around my wrist. Let's see how it turns out. And there we go. We have a plastic bag bracelet that's kept together with a little piece of glittery tape. It's a great addition to my other bracelets. Here's the plastic bag bracelet I made earlier today. Super cool. If you wanna try making a braided bag bracelet, that's a great idea, try it. But I'm encouraging you to also look in your recycling or your trash or both 
and come up with another cool creative thing to make. We are so excited for you to share it on Seesaw to see what you come up with. Don't forget that when you put it in Seesaw, tell us about how you came up with your idea and the process you used to make it. We can't wait to see your creative minds coming up with a cool STEM challenge, recycled cool thing. Have fun.